Hello guys, welcome to the CS Core and Network Fundamentals course. This course will mainly cover the CS Core Network Fundamentals and Features. Let's start with our first chapter Core Networks in Mobile Generations. Upon completion of this lecture, you will be able to describe the type of core networks in each mobile generation. You will know that the term CS refers to circuit switching. You will be able to explain the differences between circuit and packet switching. You will know that in 4G we use new core called EPC, which stands for Evolved Packet Core. Let's start the lecture now. In this chapter we will discuss all the core networks types and all the mobile operators. Core networks in 2G and 3G are different than that in the 4G. Let's start with the 2G. You will find that it is connected to two types of core networks. The first one is the CS network, which is the main of our course, where we will list all the details about it in the upcoming lectures. And the second type of core networks in 2G is the packet switching network. CS network stands for circuit switching network. It is designed mainly for the voice services, like voice calls, SMS, and many other features. Data sessions are not supported in CS networks due to the very low bit rate in it. The main nodes in circuit switching core networks are MSC Mobile Switching Center. Its main function is handling and switching connections between users. The second main node is HLR Home Location Register. And its function is to store all the subscribers' data and profiles, including all the related services that the subscriber subscribed in. As we said, the 2G is also connected to a second core network called packet switching. The main function of the packet switching networks is to provide mobile subscribers with access to packet data networks like Internet. Accordingly, 2G subscriber can make voice calls using circuit switching networks and data sessions using packet switching networks. The main nodes in the packet switching core is the SGSN serving GPRS support node. Its main function is similar to the MSC, which is switching and handling connections between users. The second node is GGSN, Gateway GPRS Support Node, which enables the packet switching users to connect with external packet data networks like Internet. So from its name it is the gateway to the Internet, and of course many other packet data networks. This is for the 2G. Now let's talk about the 3G mobile networks. The core in the 3G is the same core that in the 2G networks. No differences between them where circuit switching is also used for voice calls purpose and packet switching is also used for data sessions purpose. Exactly the same core like in the 2G. You will ask me so what is the difference between the 2G and 3G networks? The difference here not in the core, the difference is in the access networks and in the air interface, where in the access networks, 2G uses the BTS base transceiver station and BASA base station controller, while in 3G there exists the node B replacing the BTS and the RNC radio network controller replacing the BASA. Also there is a difference in the air interface. 2G uses a combination between TDMA and FDMA techniques, while 3G uses CDMA technique, which of course provides 3G networks with higher data rates compared to that of 2G. This is the difference between the 2G and 3G generations. Now, let's talk about the 4G networks. 4G is a totally new core. It uses new core network called EPC. It stands for Evolved Packet Core. Its main function is to provide 4G subscribers with access to external packet data networks like Internet. So its function is the same as the function of packet switching. You will notice here that the 4G is not connected to circuit switching networks. So no voice calls are enabled to 4G subscribers unless doing one of two methods. The first one, that the mobile operator enables the CS fallback feature where when a 4G subscriber needs to make voice call, he will fall back to the 3G or 2G network to use the CS network in them. The second one is to connect the EPC with IMS IP multimedia system, 
the IMS enables 4G subscribers to make voice calls over it. So any 4G network must have one of those two features, either the CS fallback feature, or the IMS network connected to it. The main nodes in the EPC is the MME Mobility and Management Entity. Its main function is, Mobility and Session Management of Users' Connections. The second node is S-Gateway Serving Gateway. It is used in handover anchoring and mobility management. The third node is PDN Gateway Packet Data Network Gateway. Its function is to manage interface with external packet data networks like Internet. This is the core of the 4G networks. Now we have listed all the core differences between all mobile generations. By reaching this, we have completed our first lecture. See you in the next lecture.